Delta Airlines has been chosen the new official airline of Walt Disney World. Delta Dream Flight was a Tomorrowland attraction in Magic Kingdom Walt Disney World. This dark ride was designed by Wed Enterprises and manufactured by Arrow Development. The attraction was open from June the 26th, 1989 and took its last flight on the 5th of January, 1998. Hello, I'm Disney Dave and welcome to my channel. Here you can find things all Disney and Walt Disney World. If you're new to my channel, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon to be notified when new content is uploaded. This dark ride was a light-hearted look at the story of aviation. Dreamflight utilised the same Omnimover track layout as its predecessor, which in turn would go on to be used by its replacement. This dark ride was a pop-up book version of the history of flight, using simplistic sets, some audio animatronics and projection effects. Riders pass through scenes of Barnstormers, an M130, Tokyo and Paris in the 1930s, the jet age, the future of air travel and appearing to enter a working jet engine. Over the years, the various attractions that have populated this space have been dedicated to exploring the wonders of flight. The first such attraction was If You Had Wings. This opened in 1972 and was very popular with guests in the 1970s, and in just six years more than 40 million guests had taken a flight. In 1987, If You Had Wings was renamed If You Could Fly, when Delta took over the sponsorship of the attraction from Eastern, but continued to operate it until Delta Dreamflight could be designed and constructed to take its place. Dateline, Walt Disney Imagineer. Things are always busy at Walt Disney Imagineering. These talented wizards are working on the newest attraction to be added to Walt Disney World's Magic Kingdom. A look at aviation called Dream Flight, presented by Delta. The concept of the show was an attempt to capture great eras of aviation. So what we did is we went through and we chose particular uh, periods in history that were extremely significant in the development of aviation. The entrance is the uh, Delta 767 Spirit of Delta flagship, and that was built from actual lofting drawings provided by Boeing. Great attention to detail is paid in every scene of Dream Flight, from this mural of a 1920s airport to the carefully manicured landscape of a Japanese tea garden and the beauty of a sunset in Paris, France. But this attraction deals with more than just the romantic side of aviation. There's the whimsical side, too. This scene depicts a barnstorming circus that uh, has utilized a farmer's field. And uh, so we have a field going on beyond us, but all of the makeshift tents and the airplanes down in the middle of this field. And when the scene is fired up and everything is animated, uh, what we actually have are the airplanes and the stunt flying and the uh, grandstand crowds and everybody who you might have found at a barnstorming circus, except again in a cartoon rendition. Right in this area, we're doing all the painting of the props, the animated props, the uh, construction of the set itself, creation of the actual ground surface, and the uh, putting together of all the various parts that have been built in different places around Walt Disney Incorporated, and integrating them into a complete show for shipment to Florida at Walt Disney World. We'll keep you informed on the progress of the Dream Flight Project before its scheduled opening this summer in future Dateline Disney updates. Delta sponsored the ride from its opening in 1989 through to the end of 1995. The decision not to continue sponsorship was made part due to the cost of sponsoring the 1996 Summer Olympic Games in Atlanta, Georgia. From January the 1st, 1996, until June the 4th, 1996, the attraction was renamed simply Dreamflight, while its future was being determined. 
On June the 5th, 1996, it reopened as Take Flight. It was only slightly refurbished. All references to Delta was removed and the attraction's popular theme songs were re-recorded. Take Flight closed its doors for good on January the 5th, 1998, ending the dynasty of flight-based attractions to occupy the space. It was replaced by the interactive Dark Ride, Buzz Lightyear's Space Ranger Spin, which was inspired by the Disney Pixar Toy Story movies. Elements of Dream Flight was repurposed into the new attraction, with chickens being painted green to become more spacey, and the mechanism for a crash pilot being redressed for a space alien. And now let me share with you some video footage I shot of the ride in 1995 and 
Japan.